repeatedly called on his supporters to protest. House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries is joining me for a Sunday exclusive with his first reaction. Plus, after a string of mass shootings, I traveled to East Lansing this week for a wide-ranging conversation with Governor Gretchen Whitmer about guns, the threats against her, abortion rights, and yes, some of those Republican candidates running for president. And later, I took a subway ride with New York City Mayor Eric Adams. I asked him about Donald Trump dealing with crime in a big city and also his weekend routine. For more than a week now, we've been hearing that Donald Trump may be indicted by the Manhattan DA's office. And yesterday, Trump himself weighed in. In an all-caps tirade on his social media site, Truth Social, the former president... I think it just tells you everything you need to know about the radical left in this country. It just feels like a politically charged prosecution here. Joining me now is House Democratic Leader Congressman Hakeem Jeffries of New York. He said, I'm directing relevant committees to immediately investigate if federal funds are being used to subvert our democracy by interfering in elections with politically motivated prosecutions. Next, Democrats are in charge of the entire state government in Michigan for the first time in 40 years, and they intend to use that power. My conversation with Governor Gretchen Whitmer about everything from guns to abortion is next. Of all the issues plaguing this country right now, of all the issues that keep me up at night, gun violence on this issue in recent years. Last year, President Biden signed a bipartisan bill that produced some pretty significant reforms. It represented the most progress on this issue in decades. But it didn't go nearly as far as gun safety advocates, mothers like me, and even President Biden had wanted. And just last week, the president signed an executive order. With the recent news of Donald Trump's looming indictment, we've seen Trump's allies attack prosecutors in all sorts of ways. But one attack in particular stood out to me. On Thursday, Boris Epstein said that woke radical DAs in New York and Atlanta are to blame for Trump's legal problems. Yes, you heard that correctly. Woke DAs are to blame. The majority of Americans, 56 percent, think of woke to mean being informed, educated, and aware of social injustices. That sounds pretty good as opposed to being overly politically correct. A special thanks to Mayor Eric Adams for spending some time with us and for the smoothie, which I can tell you tasted a lot like a very healthy smoothie. Up next, some final thoughts on our first Sunday together and a little preview of what you can expect here every Sunday moving forward.